really truly what I've learned um, so for those of you that don't know my backstory feel free to check that out very first video on my website uh, one step at a time fitness um, but dating as an amputee Wowzers. Dating period these days is a little bit crazy and a little bit nuts. Um, we have everything from social media to the dating apps to traditional dating to, to meeting with friends, things like that. Um, number one, I want to tell you, be proud of you. If you're going to do the internet dating thing and you choose to do that, do not, do not have a profile or the pictures are from here up and you don't show that you're being an amputee be proud of who you are no you don't have to say in your profile this is me and I'm an amputee but you do want to share that you know that's a part of you um, and that's who you are and so that's the last thing that you want to do is not have that if you choose to do online dating um, traditional dating um, for me uh, you will see me wearing dresses and shorts and capris and things like that you won't see me wearing jeans all the time the last thing you want to do is meet someone and they really don't know and then all of a sudden they have the shock factor of that the fact that you're an amputee um, so don't ever be afraid to share that with other people um, the second thing I want to share with you is to be confident be confident in your own self and that's with dating period like 100% be proud of who you are know who you are know what your goals are and what you're kind of looking for so if your intent is to simply just have great conversation maybe go to dinner with someone here and there then that's awesome you know if if you choose that you are actually looking for someone to be with long term and and have something uh, tangible and long term make sure you do that as well um, let's see I have dated um, one other amputee and I've dated a lot of uh, non-adaptive um, men just put it that way um, I, it's not the fact that I wouldn't other wouldn't date other amputees for any specific reason but I've just been very very active my whole entire life um, and I've only honestly dated one other amputee um, I did find that the amputee that I did date um, we had a lot of things in common that we just didn't have to like talk about or work through or if they had questions or vice versa it was more like if they did have questions it was something like oh I'm gonna refer you know your amputation to my amputation and make you compare stories and contrast so that might be a good thing for you if that's something that you're looking for is to have someone like you um, maybe just just go after that and just know that that, that can be an option um, and get yourself involved with with other groups to support um, to support you for for what you have um, for me I have the Dallas MBT network here I'm a support system I'm not looking to date through that but I have a network of friends and, and, and now family um, that have that support for me. And then I also, you know, go to the nationwide conferences and I'm very active with that. Um, so with that being said, guys, you know, as far as dating, um, if you're going to date someone that isn't an amputee, um, that's totally cool. Um, sometimes they are a little bit scared to ask you questions. So what I like to do is just kind of open it up like, you know, do you have any questions about me personally? You know, I want you to feel comfortable. So if you have any questions about my amputation or, you know, my story or things like that, you know, just be real and be honest. Um, I've heard everything in the book from I simply can't date you anymore just because I can't handle the looks to I think you are a complete badass and I just love who you are and it doesn't even matter that you're an amputee. Um, I've heard just really everything in, in the book um, and honestly I really didn't care um, because I love me and I know who I am at the end of the day and that's all that matters and you know the person that's that's out there that's meant for me um, is going to be willing and accepting and, and able to accept that um, so I've been dating off and on between my goals um, between one 